Hey, 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 everyone. How's it going? It's me, Waddles. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you may recall the custom villages that I did a while back. Well, uh, those aren't gone <laughs> at all. Uh, we are back with another one today. To recap, so far we've done villages for the swamp, the flower forest, the nether, and the jungle. And today, we finally get to add the Mesa biome to that list. Now, the primary goal of these villages is to create a home for the villagers that sort of fits the environment or uses materials that are around. But we don't have to stick to biome-specific content. These villages are also meant to somewhat fit the vanilla vibe of the game. These aren't meant to be crazy castles or something absurd. Don't get me wrong, those are cool, but uh, these are meant to be a little bit more simple. I think we need no further introduction, so remember to subscribe, and let's go. So, 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 welcome to my warm, warm Mesa village. Well, it's not really mine, it's theirs. Uh, we'll start over here and we'll go house by house, explain what I was doing, what I was thinking. So, welcome to Target. <laughs> not the store, but uh, the, the Fletcher building here. Uh, but bad puns aside, inside of Target we have a fletching table, a bed, a chest with some loot in it. This would be randomized loot. I went with arrows of strength in here. I still do think these arrows need to be lootable in the game to expose players to them a little bit more. And then on the back wall we have an arrow of healing in the bullseye. So that means some villager here has a crazy good shot and shot um a bullseye shot i guess from all the way across the room so like here i don't know that's pretty crazy <laughs> so there we go that's the fletcher building a it's meant to be a giant target now over here we have uh what would be the town temple i believe is what they're called in the game files lots of brewing stands in here some chests no loot this time because i i, I kind of figured um, there's a lot of brewing stands, and that's some decent loot there, so uh, the loot is on the tables. Lanterns, flower pots, everything like that. Now, taking a step out of the tour for a minute, you can notice the buildings are kind of interesting. I was going for a modern, colorful feel. Don't get me wrong, I thought it would be cool to do more simple buildings in the side of the cliffs and stuff, and I did do some of that, but... I, I thought with these colors and, and the palettes and everything, uh, we had to do something a little more crazy and, and uh, like eye-catching. So that's what's going on here in the village. Up top in the temple, I put some sort of little uh, glowing area. <laughs> so there's some glowstone there if uh, players wanted to loot that. Now, it seems that it's that time of the day when the villagers just stand around everywhere. And uh, the time of the day will will never change for some reason. So let's just go inside of this house right here. This is a small house for two villagers. A chest with some, some flower loot. Uh, as you maybe have noticed, there's lots of flowers outside. We'll explain that in a minute. Uh, and then upstairs, we have a bed and a little bit more just kind of random basic game loot. Now, the flowers. Uh, the biome is so dead and dry, and I figured we needed more color. So I tried to place lots and lots of flower pots and flowers around uh, the city. Maybe the villagers that live here went out on some far journey uh, to collect flowers and bring them back to to match with the colors of their town. So that's kind of what's going on with the, all the flowers and everything. Now in here we have the grindstone building. I kind of forget the exact profession name. We have a chest over there. I don't believe I put loot in that one. And then two beds. So I, I imagine this house would uh, be the home of whoever uses the grindstone and then another villager so kind of just a two-in-one building uh with another empty chest this chest would belong to whatever villager lives here and then, and then this bed would belong to the, the villager working here so that's kind of what's going on some glass on the ceiling uh some crazy carpets on the ground moving on we have the farmer building here i figured you know with such a dry biome the food would need to be a, a little more safe and encased in some kind of building so we have a little farm balcony with some beetroot. Inside of the house we have even more composters and an enchanted hoe on the wall. This hoe has unbreaking too so just a basic pretty low level enchantment but I, I think that should be a thing. We should be able to find tools with randomized enchantments in some of the villager buildings. The tools would match with the theme or the profession of the building. A bed over here and a chest with some farm related loot, even the the crazy valuable golden hoe. Yes, I know, uh, some, some pretty OP loot in the town. 
Uh, but moving on, down here we have the armorer building. I set this up like this was a mine. In the Mesa, or, or I guess Badlands as it's technically called, uh, there is a, a lot of gold. So I figured this is a mining operation for gold. We even have some broken anvils in here as well. And this chest, lots of iron. And this chest, lots of gold nuggets. Uh, some blast furnaces, and that's just about it. This is just an open building on the side of some kind of mountain. Going back a little bit, our town center area is really just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have I done? The town center is really just a bell on a crazy terracotta block. Uh, not much to it or anything. Uh, this is a garden, a dead bush and leaf garden. <laughs> uh, yep, so that's that's the town center for this town. Now, over here we have the stone mason's building, uh, or the stone cutter, or the mason, or mm -hmm. uh, an interesting ceiling. I had fun with that. Uh, lots of clay related things in there, and then a castle look on the top. I thought that was a fun way to go with this thing, and it made me realize how this one corner of the terracotta block, it, it drives me a little crazy. Um, yeah, because <laughs> we have all the swords, and you know, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, it's the same everywhere. The stone cutter also has a beautiful, beautiful view of the armor, so... Uh, I don't know what that says about them, but beautiful view of it. Going up, though, uh, it's time to walk along the side of the cliff. I had to, had to, had to. The buildings on the sides of, of this mountain, it's, it's just a must when you come to these biomes. It, I don't know. Uh, but this is the smithing house. Not too much in here because the smithing table is sort of a mystery, so I didn't really know what to to really do upstairs we'll find a bed and a chest with a tool and some iron nuggets i figured maybe that matches the smithing table ah still not sure about that thing hopefully we find a little bit more about that soon uh moving on this is just a small house so a bed a chest in here and then just a table no profession or anything then down here is the butcher building so uh this building is all about food supplying the town with with the eats inside of the chest some raw food and then upstairs we actually have a patio a pig patio uh, the pigs have the best view in the town and uh, this is where the butcher would come up to to how should i put this um visit the pigs moving along our boardwalk thing there over to the next building this is an armorer who lives in the cartographer's house yes <laughs> so this is the cartographer's house I, I went with this modern like s shape or backwards s i guess in here we have the bed on one side and then the working area on the other side inside of the chest uh map related loot of course and again keep in mind all of this loot if this were vanilla would be randomized like all of the other villages uh, but moving along the boardwalk up to here, we have another small house that houses two more villagers. Uh, no chest this time, just some tables with some lanterns on it. And, and yeah, I think that actually just about wraps up the town. Uh, but I have a few more things to say. So I had a lot of fun making this one. This was a cool one to do. And I tried to match the colors to the profession. So... The miner has a, a gray roof to match stone, and then the farm building is all green. And then the best example is probably the building that we started at, the target building. I thought it would be kind of fun to use the colors and, and match the jobs and really give these buildings a personality. And I don't know, I, I think it ended up pretty nicely. I imagine that the buildings on the sides of the cliffs would be the older ones. That's why, aside from the butcher building, uh, those buildings are a little more plain colored just you know the cliff colors really pulled out into a building i think this village would also be pretty safe from raids uh because we do have this whole covering and protected area in the back yes the raid could spot on top of the cliff and wander down but if we're talking about a real invasion climbing a mountain and then jumping would not be the best tactic so the village is sort of sheltered I tried to place some fences around the outside to keep the villagers in and to add a little bit more defense to the town. I wanted the defense of the town to be a big focus as well. But I, I think that's just about it. Those are my few extra words that I had to say about this place. What do you think? Do you think I did an okay job? If you're interested in more custom villages, drop a like on this video and let me know what biome I should do down in the comments below. What biome is next? Remember to check out all of those cool links in the description, like my Instagram, my Twitter, and by all means, if you make a custom biome village, share it over on the subreddit. 
Thank you very much for watching. My name is Waddles. Go have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.